everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way, and this week's project is trees. I'm going to show you how to take the tree image and turn it into either a little bush that's in the foreground or a large tree that's in the background. It's all about the way that you stamp it. So in addition to the, the tree that I'm using, I'm actually using the tree from the Covered Bridge set, so the tree and the little cluster of leaves, and I'm also using uh, something from the foliage set, so the grasses, the two grasses the vine and this small leaf for the background okay so I've already stamped this the tree and you can see there's the same identical tree but the way that we color it and the way that we stamp it either brings it to the foreground or being, brings it to the background okay so the first thing we're gonna do is the little tree or the bush that's in the foreground so we're gonna start out by just pulling the color out of the lines here. This is sepia. And so when I stamp this image I stamp the branches this area here in the green and then this part of the trunk, so just the widest part of the trunk, I stamped in the sepia. And I did that for all three trees. Okay, so we're going to start out with this. Before we do anything else with the rest of it, we're going to ink the vine. So that's the vine from the foliage set. And we're just going to ink about half of it. And we're going to start by putting this into the tree. See, just like this. Just kind of add it to the branches. Wherever you see that the branches are already in the tree, you're just going to sort of extend that with the foliage. And I'm only stamping this about three or four times. See, in the top also. Leave the center open a little bit. We don't want to fill it in too much. This is just a little shrub that's going to be in the foreground. Okay, so now we're going to add water to this. And just you're just touching all these little leaves so don't get it too don't get too much water on here these are tiny little lines you can you can make this bush however thick you want uh, just by adding more in here but if it's just a little sapling it doesn't have a lot of foliage on it Okay, once we've got that done, you can add a little more color in here. So you could uh, take a darker green, a darker green or maybe a blue, and add something in like this as an accent. So just one or two here and there. Let's add water to that. And you can do this with any color. So if it's fall and you want to do a fall theme, start out with a brown or an orange terracotta and do the same thing. Okay, so now we're going to use a large grass. So remember, this is in the foreground, so it's just a little shrub. We're going to use the big grass and we're just going to stamp it right in the front. Pull that color up. And out and you can see that this looks like a little either a little tiny tree or a little bush you can add flowers to it if you want to uh, whatever you want to do okay let's go on to the next one now this tree would be in the middle so this is not way back in the background this is sort of in the middle so we're gonna pull the color out of the trunk and we might just extend this trunk a little bit just to make it a little wider. That's going to show that the tree is a little bigger and you can do that with your uh, sepia pen. So the fine tip. The branches actually would be straighter. So you could just fill those in a little bit. Don't stress out about this. It's super easy. Okay, so now we're going to take the color out of the lines in this tree. We're going to soften all these lines now. So dip your brush, pinch it off, and just dab at all these lines. The color will all come out and just kind of blend together. Leave some white areas too. Uh, when you look at a tree outside, you can see through it in a lot of areas. Even the big trees have openings, so don't ever fill everything in solid. It's just better that way. Okay. So we pulled all this color out of the lines now. Okay, so now we're gonna take a smaller leaf. So this is the tiny leaf that's in that um, covered bridge set. And you can see that the leaves, you can angle them up or down. 
hope you can see this, but the little leaf, it's a, just a little cluster of leaves and they're actually up, pointing up. So we're gonna take that now and we're using the number 15 again, so same one, and we're just gonna stamp this into the tree. One, two, three, four. Just kind of follow those lines again, the way that the tree is growing. Just stamp it in there a bunch of times. This is just a smaller leaf, and so that's, that's how the tree is looking like. It's a little farther away. Pull these leaves out a little farther. Okay, so let's add water to that now. And we're just gonna soften all these little lines as well. They're tiny little lines, so you're just dabbing at all of this. Just dabbing. We wanna soften them, but we don't wanna lose um, the integrity of the image either. So it's really important that you don't get too much water. But that you just soften the lines. We're just softening all the lines that we just stamped. Okay, and let's add something dark in the center here. So let's just take this now and let's add a blue, some blue. This is um, actually African violet, but you can use any dark blue. And we're just going to stamp a few of these in the center just to show that it's really dark on the inside. Take the brush. Okay, we're about finished with that tree. So let's do the grass now at the bottom and we're going to use the small grass this time. So this tree is set back farther in the distance. So we're just going to use this small grass. Stamp it and add water to it. Pull that color up and out. And I'm just going to add a few more little, little vines or little leaves here. Like we need just a few more. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go on to the next one. So this is our tree in the background. This is our big tree with lots of foliage that's in the way in the background. So we're going to also now pull the color out of the lines. So we're going to so soften this. This tree is going to have a lot more foliage, so we're going to drag this color way out. Make it more rounded. Just keep pulling this color out. So really drag it out on the sides. Uh, pull the sepia color down. Uh, this trunk also is going to be wider. So take your fine tip and just Follow the lines and just make the trunk just a little bit wider. Okay, so we're going to add some more color now to this tree. And I've got some, uh, this is number 72, pine green. This is my olive green that I started with. We're going to start out by adding the olive green. And we're just going to add a little more color to this. Just brush this in wherever. So easy. Just making this a little bit darker. Okay, let's pick up some of this darker green. We're gonna do the same. See, I've, I've still left a few little areas where it's open, so we're not coloring it in solid. Okay, like this. So now once that's finished, let's take a really small foliage. This is a really tiny leaf that comes in the foliage set. And just ink one side or the other, whichever side is most comfortable for you. And take a little darker green now. And we're just gonna ink a little bit of this, just the texture. And we're just gonna stamp it in here a few times. And 
water to that. And you can see this tree now looks like it's way back in the background. The leaves are smaller, the trunk is bigger. Looks like a mature tree. And instead of using the grass here on the bottom, let's just make a stroke. So let's just take a little bit of the screen and we're just gonna make a stroke just like this. You could take your uh, fine tip and you could add even a few more branches up in here. Extend some of these branches over. Up to you. And just take the fine tip of your green now and just make a few little grassy tufts here. And there you have it, small, medium, and large. Hope that helps you. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week.